In this lesson, we're going to find the standard form, the leading term, the leading coefficient, and the constant of polynomial function. Okay, let's begin first the definition. A polynomial function is a function of the form p of x equals a sub 0 x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 raised to x or x times raised to n. So, until you reach a sub 0, or in a sub 0 is not equal to 0. Polynomial functions denoted by is denoted by p of x or f of x or we can use y. Okay, and the equation for n is a non-negative integer a sub 0, a sub 1, and a sub n are real numbers called coefficients. Uh, a sub n x raised to n is what we call the leading term and a sub n is the leading coefficient and a sub 0 is the constant. In this lesson, we're going to find the following. A, the standard form of the polynomial equation or the polynomial function. B is the leading term. C, to find the leading coefficient and D, to find the constant of the polynomials. Okay, we have here four different examples. The first one is um, not in standard form. The number two, three, and four are in the form of factored form. Okay, how to find the leading term, coefficient, the constant, and how to rewrite or how do we rewrite the given uh, function into a standard form? Yeah, number one, we have f of x equals 2 minus 11x plus 2x square. And we're going to write it in standard form. So, um, the first polynomial will be 2x square followed by negative 11x plus 2. So, we're in the degree is um, incre a decreasing order. Now, the leading term is 2x square. Okay. And the leading coefficient is 2. And the constant is... It's also 2. Uh, the number 2 example is y equals x times x squared minus 5. So the solution is to simplify the function first. Then y equals x times x squared minus 5. So therefore, in standard form, we have y equals x cubed minus 5x. So our leading term now is x cubed and the leading coefficient now is 1. Therefore, the constant is 0. Okay, number three, our example is in factored form. We have y equals x plus 4 times the quantity of x plus 1 times the quantity of x minus 1 squared. Um, to solve this, we, we're going to simplify first the function. Okay, we're, I'm going to use the distributive property. So we have x times x is x, x squared. x times 1 is x and 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 1 is 4. So, as you can see, meron mga arrow. So, we have to follow that arrow. So, the second one is x times x is x squared. Then, x times negative 1 is negative x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. And, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Okay. The new equation now is y is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 4 times x squared minus 2x plus 1. So, we need to simplify this also. Okay, and then the next step is to combine like terms. Then we have y now is equal to x squared. We combine x and 4x. So, x plus 4x is 5x plus 4. And then the other side, uh, other one is x squared. Negative x minus x is negative 2x plus 1. Okay, in order to simplify this equation, I'm going to use the distributive property. Okay, so may man highlight po chan, the orange, pink, and green. Okay, so it becomes no. And, uh, and then the next step is to combine like terms. So you can see on the figure, we have now y equals x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. Okay, to na now um, the standard form is y equals x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 3x plus 4. And the leading term is x raised to 4. The leading coefficient is 1. And our constant is 4. Okay. Which is yung nasa dulo. Okay. Our next example is y equals negative x times x plus 3 times x minus 3. 
Okay, it is also in factored form. So the best solution or the first solution is to simplify the function. Then y equals negative x times x squared minus 3x plus 3x minus 9. We combine like terms, therefore we have um, negative 3x plus 3x is 0, so therefore we have x squared minus 9. And we multiply it by negative x, so therefore our function now as y equals negative x cubed minus 9x. Okay, now, um, the standard form of the given equation is y equals negative x cubed minus 9x. So, we can now uh, find the leading term, which is negative x cubed, and the leading coefficient is negative 1. So, our constant is 0. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. That's all for now. So, for more videos, um, just click subscribe and the bell button below.